So when it's time to shine, shine bright. And don't let nobody take you down. Jeremy Lin became one of the most influential Asian American athletes of our generation. Born on August 1988, Jeremy Lin began his life like every Asian American kid in the United States. The kid with dreams of playing in the NBA. Since his parents were Taiwanese American immigrants, the likelihood of him making it to the league was slim to none. When he graduated high school with first team All-State honors at the Northern California Division II Player of the Year Award, Lin was never highly sought after by NCAA Division I basketball school. Top tier Division I schools like California, Stanford, and UCLA did not offer any basketball scholarships to Lin. Therefore, Lin ended up settling for a spot on the Ivy League Harvard basketball team, which happened to be a Division I basketball school. However, unlike the other Division I schools, Harvard could not offer Lin a basketball scholarship. After graduating Harvard with a degree in economics, Lin wanted to pursue a career in the NBA. However, through becoming a breakout star in the NBA, Jeremy Lin would eventually be faced with media scrutiny on his rise to stardom, even if there would be stark differences in the viewpoints of dominant media and Asian American media. We would like to examine these differing perspectives through analyzing newspaper articles and raising questions about his representation by the media. This ESPN article highlights the view that Lin's sanity and Lin's success was a result because of Lin's Asian American ethnicity, rather than the way he played basketball. Floyd Mayweather Jr., a renowned boxer, expresses on his Twitter, Jeremy Lin is a good player, but all the hype is because he's Asian. Black players do what he does every night and don't get the same praise. By saying that all the hype is because he's Asian, Mayweather emphasizes the impact of race overriding Lin's actual basketball skill and his success. Mayweather goes on to tweet, I'm speaking my mind on behalf of other NBA players. They are programmed to be politically correct and will be penalized if they speak up. Mayweather claims that this idea of race dominating in Lin's success is the view of the other NBA players as well. In another article published in the New York Times, Pablo Torre expresses his opinion in the article by saying, I think there's every kind of demographic outlier in play with this story. The beating heart of the story, no matter what anybody says, is the fact that he is Asian American. Tor says this because since Lin is an outlier by being an Asian basketball player born and raised in this country, it creates a huge inconsistency in how Lin's sanity and Lin's success is viewed. This again shows how the dominant media tends to overlook Lin's skill when race becomes a factor in his popularity and success. In this article published by the University of Alabama News Buzz, sports critic Andrew Billings stated that nothing lasts to this magnitude in sports. Part of the reason people tune in though is because there's a feeling that this could end in the not too distant future. By saying this, billing implies that insanity is just a phase and is not something that will last in the realm of basketball. Billings may be skeptical of Lin's success because of his race as an Asian. One question we could raise here is that, would Billings have said the same thing about Lin's sanity if um, Lin were to be white or African American? In this article from the New York Daily News, Bob Reisman expresses, the coming of Lin was a stroke of luck. Yet once the point guard by default kicked in, the media blew the story totally out of proportion, stating that Lin received more media attention than he actually deserved, calling insanity a stroke of luck and not giving any credit to how he plays in the game or how dedicated he was to the game of basketball in order to achieve his fame and spark the insanity craze that he is known for. In this article, author William Wong claims that Jeremy Lin has shattered Asian stereotypes. Furthermore, he states that although he is 6 feet 3 inches tall, smart enough to graduate from Harvard with a 3.1 grade point average majoring in economics, Lin still exudes aggressive leadership skills as a quick and clever point guard, scoring points with jump shots, twisting layups, and finding teammates with pinpoint passes. 
Although he is taller than most other Asians, and he fits the stereotype of being smart, Wong sees the leadership exhibited by Jeremy Lin during his games. And because of this, stereotyping Asians to the point where they might not be considered to be good at basketball could be considered to be invalid because Jeremy Lin was able to still become a phenomenon on the court despite his Asian ethnicity. In this article, author Paul Tran states that Jeremy Lin is able to break stereotypes of Asians and how they are portrayed on screen. Tran sees that he is a winner and best of all, he is a bona fide star strictly due to his abilities, not his looks, marketability, or pedigree. Furthermore, Tran states that Lin is neither short nor weak. He was born in the United States and does not speak with an accent. He is emotional and demonstrative. He has a swagger and flair to his game. He is at times flashy. He does not back down on the court. It didn't matter if Jeremy Lin was an Asian in a sport dominated by other ethnicities, but it was his skills that were able to propel him into the fame he has today. In this article, author Eric Liu is saying that Lin is breaking the boundary between Asians and Americans. Some Americans believe that if you're Asian, you can't be American, but Jeremy Lin is changing that. However, there are now many Asian Americans in the media like Jeremy Lin that break the model minority stereotype. Lin's breakout has allowed Asians to feel accepted and a part of American culture. Luz continues to say, but another sensation, the feeling of awakening Lin has inspired across the country, is real and seems likely to last. Here, Liu is saying that Jeremy Lin's influence has not only spread far and wide, but will also have a lasting effect. This is opposed to what the article by the University of Alabama states, which is that Jeremy Lin's influence is just a phase and will disappear soon. In this article, author Jay Kang writes about his own opinion on why he feels that Jeremy Lin has gained so much success through playing for the Knicks. Kang states that it's only been five games, but Lin's sanity should have some staying power over the course of what has been a particularly unwatchable regular season. Kang is saying that Lin's sanity's impact is likely to have a lasting effect rather than it just being something temporary. Kang states that it is this quality more than the scoring totals that has contributed to the Knicks' five-game winning streak. The author comments on how the quality of Lin's tricks and moves are what is helping them win, and that's what matters more than the score.